Thanks, Brian. In other news tonight, this man is still allowed on the road this evening. He was charged today in Kent County for killing another man while driving drunk. He still holds his license to drive. Paul Flanagan's crash was the last in a series of accidents involving three drunk drivers, wrecks that led to the death of a good Samaritan. It all started with a head-on collision involving two other drunk drivers. The victim was trying to help when police say Flanagan hit him and then left the scene. Tonight, Flanagan is a free man. 24-hour News 8's Leon Hendricks spoke with the victim's fiance, who says she's frustrated that Flanagan could have a chance to do it again. It's um, still so unreal. I keep waiting to hear his voice. But Margaret Mumford never will again. She was there when her husband-to-be was hit and killed. And she was watching on television as the man police say is responsible heard his charges and was let go on bond with a restricted license in hand. This man hit somebody and killed them. And he's still out there driving. And that bothers me. That just temporary, though. Flanagan will have several more court dates ahead and could be off the roads and in a prison cell for 15 years if convicted. Right now I'm kind of feeling kind of sorry for him because I'm sure that's weighing heavy on his mind like it is mine. Todd Bryant's memorial was yesterday. While there may be no place like home, for Mumford, home won't ever be the same. And the hardest part so far for me has been the nighttime and whenever I go in the bathroom, his toothbrush sitting there. And with those physical memories, she has this. A lot of people can say, um, I wish I could have said I love you. I got to. She got to say one last thing to Bryant before he was pronounced dead. They let me do that, and he understood. So I know he heard me, and he took that with him. And she even has well wishes for the man who is accused of killing her love, because that's the way she says Todd Bryant would have wanted it. He would have wanted all of us to be happy, even the gentleman that took his life. Leon Hendricks, 24-hour news aid. Flanagan's blood alcohol level was .269. That's three times the legal limit.